Hey girlfriends, thank you for tuning into Tishby TV. Today is a video that I have been wanting to put together for quite some time and it's been one of those things where I'll say, okay, when the time is right, I'll do it. When the lighting is right, I'll do it. When I have the perfect outfit, I'll do it. You know, one of those excuse kind of situations. But today I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it impromptu because I believe if it blessed me, it will definitely bless someone else. So I was out and about today running errands like I typically do on one of my days off from planning and creating. And it really hit me. It's like, okay, do it today. So what is this that you ask? Let me tell you, before I started my business, a long time ago, 2003-ish, 4-ish is when I really started playing with the idea of when I wanted to possibly start a business. But at the time, and I kid you not here, I had no money to even think of officially starting a business. Um, but there were some things that I did along the way, and even when the business launched and it took off, I still apply some of the same things to how I continue to maintain my business today. So if you're ha if you happen to be one of those girlfriends who feels like the time is never right, you don't have what you need to get started, you don't have an office space, you don't have the desk that you like, you don't have the supplies that you need, all of those excuses that may pop up into your head. I want you to see how you can get started. Maybe not getting customers right away or speaking to an audience that you have in your heart that you want to touch through word and through resources, but I can definitely help you create an area to where you can get the idea out of your head and out of your heart and into reality. So I went to Dollar Tree today, one of my favorite stores, and I'm sure one of your favorite stores at some point when you need to go in there and get something quick and cute. So I went through the aisles of Dollar Tree and went to the business section or the school supply aisle. And I said, you know, this is the perfect time for me to share with someone else how I got started. I didn't get started in a very elaborate way and with a whole lot of money. It's dedicated to you and it's dedicated to me who got started with just a few dollars and I actually have been blessed to see that come to fruition. So I'll show you the items that I have and the reasoning as to why I think these should be some staples that you have on your desk. Okay, so I am a journal girl. I saw these at Dollar Tree. It says we, no, I'm sorry. It says live life in full bloom. The cover is so cute and this is not a hard bound book, but this is definitely something that you can keep on your desk. You can jot down ideas. You can write down what you're grateful for. I love to have a journal on hand. Something this small, I would probably keep in my handbag or my work bag so that I can jot down notes or, like I said, it's something cute that you can look at on your desk. Here's another Jot Brand notebook that I think it's, it could be Jot Brand, it can be any brand, it can be 50 cents or a dollar. I think notebooks are so important to the business owner or the project starter or manager. If you are looking forward to doing anything big, you have to write it down. I believe that once you write it down, you can start seeing different elements that you may want to include in making that project super special. You know, the the Lord may give you ideas to make that happen, who to go talk to, what time, scheduling, you may want to use it to draw out. I mean, this is the secret to success, I'm telling you. Pens, Dollar Tree is always chock full of pens. I now I am very specific about what kind of pens I use. So I tried my best to find some in there that would be of interest to you. This is a one millimeter point and it's the Ink Tech ballpoint pens. I'm not a big fan of ballpoint pens, but hey, when you're getting started, 
you get what you can get and don't throw a fit. So got a pack of pens. And when I am writing down an idea or just journaling in my notebook about future business plans and all of that stuff, I sometimes will go back and look at it and I'll notice that there are categories that I'm actually writing about or thinking about and I want to revisit them. So I use highlighters. So I picked up a pack of highlighters and this is not only for journaling, but I recommend that if you are getting ready to start something big that you become a reader. Have you ever heard leaders are readers, readers are leaders? Well, highlighters get the job done and it just makes certain points stand out to you so you can revisit them and see how you can incorporate them into your business. I saw these cute desk pad um, pages. It's by Crown Jewels. It says Happy Thoughts and it's in a cute pattern. And this would be good just to keep on your desk when you are in your brainstorming session. You can, you know, have this right there to jot down a word, an idea, uh, maybe a website that you need to go to, or when you're on the phone talking to potential investors, friends who can invest their time and support to you, anybody, potential customers, you name it. You can have something on your desk that you don't have to fumble through the pages and you can keep notes. So I suggest having something for your desk that you can jot down something important. Dollar Tree has post-its. Post-its. I love post-its. I use these to jot down quick notes, quick thoughts. Sometimes I use these as page markers in a notebook or a book. I don't think that these will ever not be useless to a thought leader. I think that's, a, oh, here's one more important writing necessity for a project leader, thought leader. I'm gonna call you a future business leader. Thank you cards. I keep thank you cards on hand and you can find these anywhere, but this is a Dollar Tree specific haul. I'm wanting you to know that you can take a few dollars and make an impact. Keeping thank you cards is so important. I started out writing thank you cards at the very beginning Although it seemed like a very old tradition, I still did it. I still do it now. And I suggest that you keep thank you cards on you. I keep them in my purse. When I'm going to meetings, I keep them. You never know who you're going to meet, who's going to inspire you, who's going to invest in your idea, whether it's money, time, or their talent. And you just want to let them know that you're thankful for that connection or whatever act of kindness that was granted towards you. I saw some rose gold binder clips. These are small binder clips. When you have your documents, you're going to collect resources, um, bits of information. You want to keep them together and not just scattered everywhere. Here's some binder clips. You can also use these as page markers as well. These are super cute aren't they? A stapler set. This is just something small, compact. You can keep this in your work bag. And this one comes with staples. And trying to find a stapler that I purchased from Dollar Tree a while ago. It's a, it's a larger stapler and they also have separate staples. But this one is a two-in-one. It's quick. You don't have versus two dollars. You just spend one. A pack of scissors. I can't tell you right now what you would need scissors for, but I probably use scissors every single day. Maybe to cut off tags off of new things that I bought for clients or myself. Cutting paper, I mean, scissors are a staple. Dollar Tree has these, um, I can't even, a little pocket file folder. That's what they're called, I think. But, there. Can you see that? These are important. I don't think you can have enough of these when you're starting out. Um, I primarily use these and they have a larger size that I did not pick up, but you can use these to collect receipts when you're purchasing items for your business or 
um, business cards that you're collecting. You can put index cards in here with ideas to keep you on track. This is a cute little thing to keep on you and it can easily fit inside your purse or your work bag. But I suggest maybe keeping receipts in here for tax time if you're going to take your idea to the next level. I love planning, okay? I love it. So, I was surprised to see that Dollar Tree had planners in there. And this one is a 2018 planner. And it's a monthly planner. Let me try to open up a page for you. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, this one has a page with toll-free numbers to airlines, car rentals, and hotels around the country and different sizes. I mean, there's so much information in the front. I didn't take a look at it when I picked it up, but um, it's very useful. There's a 2018 executive planning guide in there. It has um, all of the national holidays, um, when the time changes. And this is very useful, I'm telling you. So uh, here are the pages. The planning pages for the month. This is such a good find for one dollar that you will definitely need. If you've seen a previous video about me talking about goal planning, I mentioned how a monthly planner is a, must, a necessity or must-have for us to get those ideas out of our heads onto paper and into the world. And this one is really good for a dollar. I I don't have any complaints. There's also a section that you can document notes. One dollar, can you imagine how many ideas, how many events, how many connections can be made using this simple and cheap tool? I love it. And to accompany the monthly planner, here is a 2018 weekly planner. Now, I hope I'm surprised. I didn't even fumble through the pages when I picked it up. But in this one, let's see what's fun in here. Okay, well, frequently call numbers. I don't remember anybody's number now because everything is so digital. So I could see this being useful if you're calling certain people on a regular basis to help you out. There's a note section. And here are the the weekly pages so you can complete all of you know what you need to get done important appointments and things that you need to get done for each day and there and at the bottom there's a monthly glance not bad girlfriends for one dollar and it also includes the national holidays so these two things will be perfect for your desk when you sit down to plan out your big ideas. And I didn't embellish anything. I said I was not going to embellish anything, but I could definitely see maybe your monogram or your favorite saying placed on the front of these. So when you open it up or when you pick it up, you are very inspired when you see them. I saw this. And there were trays, but I wanted to keep this very simple for this particular video. It's a little Lazy Susan that turns around. Well, it says it turns around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, turns around. You can put pens in here. You can put your scissors. You can put your paper clips. Little post-it notes. It's just sectioned off to where it will not take a lot of space on your desk. You can even give this one a coat of spray paint and personalize it to your liking. But like I said, I wasn't going to embellish any of this. I just wanted to show you what it looked like as is. But there's compartments in there for you to utilize them to save space, especially if you do not have drawer space yet on your desk. This can fit nicely in a corner. Also for the desk, and you may not have them yet or you may have, you need some place to put your business cards. And they have these, it's a mesh, um, a metal mesh design that will be perfect for your business cards. And let me see if I can put one of mine. Mine are vertical, so they would sit up like that. But I mean, look, 
there's enough room to, to stack several of them. So if you are writing your thank you cards, you can, you know, use one of your business cards, drop it in the envelope because it's right there on your desk. And even if you don't have your business cards, this is still perfect because you'll know this needs to be on your to-do list to put something in there so that you can stay in connection with those that you meet. Here's a little bit of money stuff. Calculator. I saw a scientific calculator at Dollar Tree, but I'm thinking, I'm, unless you're in school, or I, let me speak for myself. I used a scientific calculator when I had to, and that was only in school. Wouldn't know what to do with it now, but these buttons are all the buttons I need <laughs> to do what I need to do. So I got this calculator at Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to include this in the must have. And you may be a crafter or offering a service and you're getting something for it. To keep track of that, give your customers a receipt or use this as a visualization tool if you're not even out there yet to even give a receipt to anyone. But Dollar Tree does have receipt books and this would be good to have on hand just in case you're going to do a trade show, a gift show, craft show, and you're going to sell products. I saw this and this is fun. This is fun and cute. I saw this at Dollar Tree. It has a tassel and you can fit your business cards in here. I suggest set aside to put your business cards in here or if you're going to a career fair or craft show, you can put your business cards and maybe your debit card in here to, to tote around. But it's good to have something cute on hand so that you can give out your business cards or discount cards or whatever it is that you're planning to give potential clients and vendors file folders. Dollar Tree has all kinds of file folders that come in at different times. This is one of the patterns that they had that I thought looked pretty good. And in here you get three and it's by the Jot brand. But you can use these to keep those important documents. Maybe you're working on um, your website or it, whatever. House them in something pretty to keep you inspired. Here's some file folder labels that you can use on these. Or you can use a label maker. I, I still use these and a label maker. I just do too much, I think. And here is a corrugated file holder. I did not take it out of the pack. But can you see what it looks like when it's opened up? You can keep your files in here folders, um, your file folders in here, books, magazines, anything. And it, you, it's easily to assemble and it's pretty sturdy. It's cardboard and it can sit on your desk. Binder. I say get started with a business binder. This one was from the Dollar Tree and it has pockets on the side so that you can keep, uh oh, I covered myself up. <laughs> so that you can keep things in on the side and in addition to that, they had the Avery brand dividers that will go great in here. So you can build your business binder for under $2, girlfriends. That's not bad at all. And again, you can, you know, add your logo to the front or add something, a statement that's powerful to you that makes you want to work in this every single day. This one is mine. <laughs> look, look, I use this for everything, but Dollar Tree has letter openers. And as you can see, I embellished mine because I just didn't like it plain. And I use it to open up letters. I use it to pull things apart. I, I pretty much abuse mine. But I've had this for years. I want to say maybe five years I've had this. And it's a staple on my desk. Tape dispenser. Now this is one, I didn't embellish it yet, but this is the tape dispenser that I got at Dollar Tree and it has weight on it. And Dollar Tree also has the tape refills that come maybe six or eight for a dollar, not bad. And it's clear. I love transparent tape versus 
the frosty white looking tape. Dollar Tree. And I'm a candle girl. Picked up a candle from the Dollar Tree. I tried to find something that was going to coordinate with this. And this one does, and it has a cute little gold foil thing on it that says, Be Awesome Today for $1. I don't know what the throw is going to be. It smells okay, but the color is what stood out to me. But to have that soft glow in front of you or around you when you're thinking about what you're going to put down on paper or pull those ideas out, I think candlelight always does the trick. Girlfriends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to the Tish B TV channel, please do so before leaving the video. And I would love to hear from you down in the comment area. If you're one of those girlfriends who has this great big idea, but you just keep making excuses as to why you can't get started, this video should definitely give you some ideas to just get started on the low. I mean, spending under $25 to get those ideas out of your head. I'd love to hear from you down in the comment area, so be sure to talk back to me. And I cannot keep all of these items in my office, so I am going to package them up and do a giveaway. So be on the lookout for an upcoming video to explain the details. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, design and live the life that you love. Have a great day. Bye!